Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about web browser. This unwanted program mimics a legit browser application, but in fact is a pretty suspicious thing. You may think of it as of a just pure parody on Chrome or Firefox browsers, but it indeed has some malevolent functions you should take into account. First and foremost, it's mostly spread as a part of software bundles. This suggests that its developers pay other software vendors to include web browser into the installation package of their software. As a result, users get installed without expecting any catch, and they often don't even have a chance to refuse installing such an add-on. Web browser has an official website, which is designed to look legitimately, but I doubt any significant share of its users got it there. The website promises a lot regarding the program's convenience and privacy protection, but you may start suspect something once you just start installing it. Though, as I have just said, you will not likely to download it from the official site. Its installation window will appear from what looks like nowhere, and it contains some really questionable things like start up with Windows? Are you for real? Notifications through the system interface? Hmm, that is most definitely some trustworthy behavior that cannot be adverted, like, no way. But not only its credentials and spreading ways are suspect, the analysis of the browser's behavior shows that, well, the privacy promises present on the website are not true, to say the least. This browser has a very reckless model of autofilm form storage. They are not protected in any way. There are no HTTP filters and built-in certificate checkups like ones you can expect in normal browsers. But the main issue comes into play when you analyze how this acts after the installation. Multiple sandboxes say that web browser has some distinctive characteristics of spyware, for example, collecting low-level system information and performing anti-VM checkups. Other actions of the same kind include what looks like the detection evasion attempt, because the program copies itself, drops random DLLs, and removes previous versions, which is a pretty typical action of a threat that tries to confuse antivirus programs. So, well, I think I have said and shown enough to understand that web browser is an untrustworthy and fairly dangerous thing. To get rid of this pseudo browser, I'd recommend Green Soft and Malware. Check out the description for the loading link. It will not only delete the web browser and all of its files, but will also revert the changes it did to your system. A standard scan will do it. As you can see, in just about 5 minutes all things are detected. Let's click play now and make it gone for good. You may see the sheer volume of junk this thing brings after the installation that has been removed. Over 1600 files. Well, now the system is clean. Good luck and stay safe online.